be answering question number 14. White Settlement ISD is a lot larger than the city of White Settlement. Therefore, many of the kids that participate in the youth programs and play in the parks do not live in the city. Do you see this as an opportunity for the city or an unfair burden on the parks and youth program? Mr. Hatcher. It's, uh, it's been for quite some time that uh, we've had a lot of children that lived on the outside of White Settlement. I don't think we've ever had a problem with uh, children coming inside White Settlement. And uh, I don't feel or see that it is unfair for the city. I think that uh, at the end of the process of bringing the children in here also comes with their parents not quite as much as today as it was yesterday, but parents come in, so that is going to be a help to the revenue of our city. If uh, we could get the restaurants and the different things in our city operating, then we might bring in a little bit more revenue from that. Um, but for the children's sake, I see no reason why we should not allow the, all the children to come here in this city, because that's what this city is about, it's family. And when I was raised here, um, people worked together down at the ballpark and, the, and, and in this city, and people was not working for me, they were working for we. And I think that uh, that's what the attitude that I want to try to bring, if elected, to uh, bring a we attitude back to us. That's where I am with my family. They're on Gibbs, right next door to my mother and father. And uh, my daddy passed in 94, and now I understand why I'm living there, because mama needs me. And I understand that this, fa this family in White Settlement is of that nature, and that's what we need to keep it as. And allowing the other children to come here and operate with our facilities, that should be a, a pleasure to us and also a financial help. Thank you very much.